There is another method which can be used to find the least common multiple and greatest common factor. It is called the ladder method. This method is not commonly taught in the United States, but some kids find it very useful. Let's start with using the ladder method to find the least common multiple of three numbers. In this method, we will keep dividing the numbers by a common factor until we come to a point where we don't find at least two numbers that can be divided by a common factor. Let's take a look at this example. So we are asked here to find the least common multiple of 2, 12, and 18. So in the ladder method, we start with an L shape. And we place our three numbers inside of that L shape. So I'm going to put the 2, the 12, and the 18 inside the L shape. And I'm going to keep in mind that I am trying to find the least common multiple of these three numbers. So what I want to do is I want to find a number greater than 1 that evenly divides all three numbers. If I can't find a number greater than 1 that evenly divides all three of my numbers, then I look for a number greater than 1 that evenly divides two of my numbers, any two of them. And if I can't find one that evenly divides two of them, then I stop or I, I don't have a least common multiple. So what I do in a problem like this though is I look at my 2, my 12, and my 18 and I see that I do have a number greater than 1 that evenly divides all three of the numbers and that number is 2. And so I take the 2 and I place that right here outside to the left of my L shape. You can think of that as the beginning of a, of a ladder. And then I go through and I find the number that, that it equals when I divide them by 2. So 2 divided by 2 equals 1, and I place that right here below the 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6, and so I place the 12 right, or sorry, the 6 right here below the 12. And then 18 divided by 2 equals 9, and so I place the 9 right here below the 18. And now I put my another L shape here around these three numbers, and again I ask myself, is there a number greater than 1? I'm looking for a number greater than 1 that evenly divides all three of these numbers. And there's not a number greater than 1 that evenly divides all three of them. However, the number 3 evenly divides these two numbers. And so if I have at least two numbers that are evenly divided by that factor, I use that factor. So what I do is I take that 3 and I write it here, again, to the left of the L shape. And then I leave the 1 as it is, and I do want to rewrite that number here that, that isn't divisible by this one. I rewrite it here, and then I move over and I look at this one. The 6 is divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2, and so I place my 2 right here. And then I look at the last one, 9. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And so I place my 3 here. And then again, I come to the point where I would make another bracket here, and um, I can go ahead and write that. So I make my, my next bracket, and I ask myself, is there a number greater than 1 that evenly divides all three numbers? No. Is there a number greater than 1 that evenly divides two of the numbers? No, there's no number that evenly divides 2 and 3 that's greater than 1. So that tells me that I'm finished, and I'm going to stop doing the factoring there. 
And what I do now though to find my least common multiple is I take all the numbers that are to the left and the numbers that are in my last row where I couldn't, I couldn't find at least two numbers that could be divided by a common factor. And I circle those and I circle these. And my least common multiple then is all of these numbers multiplied together. So it's 2 times 3 times 1 times 2 times 3. So I end up with multiplying the 2 times 3 times 1 times 2 times 3. 2 times 3 equals 6 times 1 equals 6 times 2 equals 12 times 3 equals 36. And I found my least common multiple of 2, 12, and 18.